Well, Britain's Sarah Governor Ned Lamont is calling for state lawmakers to eliminate the initial license application fees for certain positions in education, child care, and health care. And while some are praising the proposals, others say it doesn't go far enough. Connecticut is at a critical point when it comes to health care, education, and child care. We're desperately short of nurses. We're scrambling just at the very same time the nurses who would you know, going to hell and back during a COVID, then we're asking them to do double duty. As the state faces a large shortage of workers, Governor Ned Lamont has unveiled a new proposal that would get rid of initial state licensing fees for educators, home child care, and nurses. It's not a lot, but it's a little, and I'd like to think it makes a difference. It's everywhere from 40 to $200. For newer teachers like Sarah Azukas, she's seen firsthand how these fees can hinder people in her field. When you're an aspiring educator, you have to pay for tests and your schooling and your ed cpa exam and and then once you get your certification it's like oh you can't get it yet you still owe us two hundred dollars in order to get that certification while the move is largely supported some say this move does not go far enough we do agree that will remove barriers for workers and for graduates of our college and universities um, but unfortunately at the same time governor lamont is removing this barrier, he's adding many more barriers by his failure to properly fund our public higher education system. Seth Freeman is the president of the Congress of Connecticut Community Colleges. He says with adequate funding, bigger financial barriers can be removed. We have long waiting lists because we, can't, we don't have enough room for all the students interested in pursuing a nursing degree. Um, but we're also seeing cuts to our nursing programs. Higher education advocates are urging lawmakers to approve nearly $200 million in emergency funding. But without the proper funding, Freeman believes the state will still face shortages. Thus, cutting our CSEU system at a time when our industry partners and, and everyone recognizes we need the um, graduates to fill these positions is, um, is not going to help the, the shortages. Now, Governor Lamont's proposal has garnered support from both sides of the aisle. If passed, it would save Connecticut workers nearly $3.5 million every year. Reporting live in Hartford, Jake Garcia, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.